We have here an addition able to cross the ocean. An American scholar publishing an Italian edition of Dante's Rime in Italy. This is almost a miracle, considering the closed borders of the sect of the Italian Dantisti. And this is a miracle also because Teodolinda is able to fuse, to unify the critical and philological tradition both of Europe and of America. I would say that uh, this edition is uh, the best uh, application of Dante's universalistic idea of culture. The burden of the previous uh, critical literature is so heavy when uh, it comes to Dante that uh, the, the other commentators look somewhat, how could I say, tired when uh, they approach Dante's lyrics. They are so worried about the data they collected that uh, the backgrounds, the, the sources, gain more relevance than the proscenium and uh, its main character, Dante. Bagolini's uh, historicism is completely different. Theo does not only look backwards, but forwards, measuring not only the conventions, but uh, the innovations, the openings, the prelude of a new world, of a new literature in the workshop of the lyrics. I've been attending a continuous uh, uh, seminars on Dante, and uh, I confess uh, that uh, only the reading of uh, Bergolini's pages gave me the same uh, enthusiasm, the same sense uh, of freshness, the same sense of a discovery, at the same time unexpected and necessary. The reader of this book, I think, uh, can uh, experience uh, with this feeling from the very first lyric. The first uh, sonnet is uh, apparently a very conventional one. It's uh, a sonnet uh, in which uh, Dante answer another Dante, Dante da Maiano, who wrote uh, a, a sonnet about an erotic vision to be interpreted by the poetic community. In his uh, sonnet, in this vision, the uh, poet meet a fair lady, a fair woman. This woman gave him a garland, a green leafy garland, and uh, then uh, the poet uh, found himself clothed with uh, one of her garments. At this point, the poet embraced her. She did not resist, but smiled. The poet uh, kissed her repeatedly. And Dante Damayano does not tell uh, us what what followed, because uh, the woman made him swear not to. She only says, the, at the end of the sonnet, that uh, there was another woman, a dead woman, his mother, with his beloved. Dante's uh, answer usually is presented as a very conventional one. Foster and Boyd comment on Dante's sonnet writing, I quote, that it's a very lack of individuality which makes it so useful as a term of comparison in the study 
of Dante's late poems. Even in this, reading this lyric, on the contrary, Bagolini applies the critical intuition that Dante is always ahead of us, and we could say even ahead of himself. Maybe we could read this lyric and then this sonnet, and then Terolinda could tell us what kind of seeds of the great Dantesque flowering we can find in this sonnet, in this correspondence. <laughs> 